So in this video, I'm going to show you how I use uh, Market Samurai to do keyword research, finding domains, and also looking at seeing what the competition is for you know search terms related to our, our niche. Um, Market Samurai is is a great piece of software. I've used it for many years now. I've used it to find, um, say, domain names. I mean, I bought some cracking domain names just from the power of this software. I mean, it's um, it's it's not a free product. It's paid. You have to. Uh, it costs about 150 bucks. They do offer a free trial, which is, I think, at the moment about 12 days. But I'm sure after 12 days, you'll want to buy it anyway. I mean, I really do highly recommend it. Okay, so um, earlier we looked um, on Amazon. We had just you know went there just looking for some ideas and what we could do an auto blog on. Um, I looked at heart rate monitors, uh, row machines, and humidifiers. So in this video, I'm just going to show you how I'd uh, go through the process of obviously deciding what what's profitable niche, um, obviously what we can compete for, and uh, and basically the uh, the keywords are, are the foundation of any website. So this is a pretty important step. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to um, put in the keyword. So in this case, we're just going to put humidifiers, and then just click over here, which then will populate all the other fields. Click create, and then keyword research. Okay, and then what I normally do is I normally click generate keywords. I don't need to fill any of this. This is you know you can add you know add your own keywords and your positive keywords, negative keywords. But I like just to see what you know Google throws at us. Okay, so once you have uh, click generate results, these uh, results come from Google's keyword tool, and I just go over here and click analyze keywords. Okay, and then what you'll see here is you, you list the keywords here, and a few other columns. Okay, the search column is obviously how many uh, times a day that the keyword is searched for, and this column is how many pages are competing for that keyword. Okay, so what I normally do is I normally select this option here and this one up here and then click analyze keywords. This sometimes takes a few moments, so just bear with me. Okay, so you should now see the results in uh, both these columns. Okay, so if you look at here, the humidifier the uh, it gets 22,000 searches a day and there is 4.1 million pages competing for that search term. This figure is just far too high. So what's cool about Market Samurai is that you can um, filter out these results. To do that, what you do is you click here, the total searches, um, and you can set that to 100. Okay, this uh, tells Market Samurai that you want pages only show results that are showing more than 100 searches a day, which is the minimum I'll go down to. Okay, and then this column here will then tell Market Samurai to only show results where there's 150,000 pages competing or less. Okay, so what you do is you just click that, and there we have it. I normally click this then just to make sure that it's uh, showing the highest results first, which it is. Oh, which it is now. Okay, so if you look here, the uh, the search term "cool humidifier" is searched for 1,332 times a day, and only has 23,400 pages competing for that search term. So that's a pretty, you know, a pretty good keyword. You're getting 30, nearly 40,000 searches a month um, with very little competition. Okay, um, cool mist humidifiers is getting uh, 1,088 searches a day approximately, and only 43 thousand pages competing. Okay, so what I normally do is just have a scroll down and see what's going on. Obviously the higher up the list the better because then you get in obviously the most bang for your buck I suppose. So once you've had a look down here you'll start seeing yeah, a few more keywords. Okay, what I'm going to do now is I'm actually going to do some uh, research um, into uh, basically the competition for this search term here, cool humidifier. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to click the key here. This will then bring up another tab up here. And when I've done that, I'll click that and wait for the page to load. Okay, and then I'm going to go over here and click SEO competition. If you take a look at the uh, these options here, we're not going to use all of them. Um, I'm just going to unselect the ones we don't need to know. We don't need the uh, Google index count, we don't need to know where it's in the Yahoo directory, we don't need to know the um, bannings there, the DMOS is not important to us, okay, domain backlinks, ok, 
okay, the main cache age, okay, the rest is okay, actually, maybe the .edu.gov links, okay, okay, so what I'm going to do now is um, make sure you've just selected the same one as me, and then I'm going to hit generate results, this can take a second, so the results are in, um, just have a look here, there's no top level domains here, so what I mean, when I say top level, I mean sites that are, it's just the, 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 the top URL, so it'll just be um, like erinwater.com, that's it, no more. Um, whereas all these seem to be pages within the main, so I mean that's quite good news. Um, look in here, there's there's quite a lot of um, um, sites here are, are optimised for this, but then none of them have a great deal of dem um, backlinks to the actual page, so that's 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 quite good. Um, Say further down here, Toys R Us, that page isn't optimised at all really, only got 10 backlinks to that page anyway. So I mean, there is that option, that's quite um, quite a good option to look into, um, cool humidifier. So what we're going to do is we're going to head back over to the humidifiers keyword list, and pull out another another keyword, so here we go, cool miss humidifiers, I'm going to click the key again, which should bring up another uh, tab over here, click the tab, click SEO competition, and then all these should still be selected from previous, so I'm going to hit generate results. So looking at these results, once again, there's no top level domains here, they're all um, pages on sites. Um, so that's good news for us. Okay, the, the domain age, they're, they're all fairly high, they're quite well established sites, it's not too bad. Um, page rank, say so there's there's some quite high ones there, but I mean there's a page rank zero there, only two backlinks to the page, you know, so so I mean I, I mainly look at backlinks and whether the pages are optimised. Looking at this now, no one's really trying to optimise for this keyword. So that's two keywords down, I'm just going to go back to the main keyword list and look for another keyword. Okay, looking down, so we've got Honeywell Humidifier, which to me it sounds like a uh, brand name, so I'm just going to ignore that for now. Okay, the next one is Humidifier Cool Mist. So we, we've looked at Cool Mist humidifiers, but this time we can look at Humidifier Cool Mist. So I'm going to click the key, opens up a new tab here, and as you see, I've already generated the results, so they've come in already. Okay, so let's have a quick look then. Okay, so the domain age is still quite high, but we've got some new ones in there as well. The page rank, you know, it's still some, some zero page rank there, so that's pretty good. Uh, backlinks to, to the page, still, you know, still very, very low. Um, there's no top level domains either, so that's quite good news. Um, there's no um, .edu and .gov links there, so... I mean, it's fairly well optimised for the rest of it. It's a little bit too much red on the screen for my liking, but you know, it's always an option. Um, so at the moment, I'm thinking the cool mist humidifiers keyword, this one up here, is the one that I'm going to go into and, and start looking for um, uh, domain names and what have you. So I want to just go back over to the uh, humidifiers keyword list um, and just see if there is anything else. There was. Um, keyword called a humidifier ultrasonic which is yeah which is just here and here um, after just doing a bit of a google I discovered ultrasonic is not a brand it's actually a, a type of humidifier so what we're going to do is I'm just going to click the key here and do a bit more research so over here we go click SEO competition and then generate results okay so let's just take a look so looking at it, there's uh, quite a few pages here. There's none that I can see at the top level domains, which I'm just going to hide these column fills so I can get a better look. Um, so these are all pages within domains. So there's nothing here. You got Wikipedia there. Okay. So looking at the domain age, still you know quite quite high domain uh, domain ages. Low page ranks. That's pretty good. Low, if any. Um, backlinks to uh, the page, so that's quite good as well. Backlinks to the main, it's high. I mean, that's you know, we've got things like Wikipedia and Target, you know, Next Tag. I mean, they're pretty big sites themselves, but I mean, looking at the actual on page SEO, I mean, other than Google, there's, there's everything else is not too bad. I mean, Target of um, well, obviously, SEO their page is quite well, but definitely think there is uh, somewhere to go in this, so that's quite neat. 
So I'm going to go back and have a look at the other keyword we saw, which was um, ultrasonic humidifiers. So I'm going to hit the key button here and go over to the tab, hit SEO competition, generate results. Okay, so these results come back nice and quick. Okay, so in position number one, so we've got Amazon, Target, um, there is one top level domain there, which is humidifirst.com. Okay, the rest, the backlinks to the page are all very low. I mean, that's the highest. It's how stuff works. That's it's fairly high, but, you know, nothing really to worry about. None of the pages are optimized other than allergybuyersclubshopping.com. What I'm going to do now is we're just going to head over to uh, Amazon.com and type in ultrasonic humidifier, which has just popped up there, and let's see what the prices are. So, 74 bucks, that's not too bad. 61 bucks, still on very low end of the market. 49, 32, 107, that's good. 159, 219. This is what we're talking about. 118. Okay, so there's definitely some products there in our in our price range. So what we need to go and do now is uh, head over to Google and see their uh, what the competition is like just on the page. Ultra Sonic humidifier okay so we've got um, obviously we saw these results in a market summary but I do still just like to drop in to Google and have a look actually you know in person um, as you can see these are sponsored listings so we know that the this this search term is actually people are actually paying to be on the top for it here so okay they're in the pink so they're paid ads these are obviously paid ads as well so it's quite neat um, say I can't see as a Yahoo Answers um, result there uh, John Lewis dot com so it's an ultrasonic humidifier okay so I mean so far so good I'm quite happy um, the next step is actually to see if we can find a domain name relating to this keyword and um, so what we're gonna do is just gonna head back to Market Samurai just to make sure double check okay so I like the ultrasonic humidifiers keyword. That is probably one of the best ones we've found. Um, it gets 1,088 searches a day, 43,300 competing pages. Okay, so I'm I'm confident we're going to find you know a domain for that. Okay, we've established that ultrasonic humidifiers is a good keyword. It gets a lot of search, low competition, and is quite easily going to be a site that we can rank for. Um, so we've already looked on Amazon to see if the um, the products are being sold. They're over 100 bucks. There's also quite a lot of you know, selection of other humidifiers as well. So what we're going to do now is we're going to head over to GoDaddy.com and uh, take a look at um, see if basically the domain name's available. So what we're going to do is type in Ultra Sonic Humidifier. Ultrasonic humidifier.com, click the search button. Okay, I'll be quite surprised if it is available. Um, so we're looking for domains um, either .com, .net, or .org, um, and in that order as well. I mean, I only register .co.uk domains, obviously, if I, uh, if obviously, if I'm targeting the UK. So, okay, so I mean, it's not available. Um, let me just see if the others are available. Ultrasonic humidifier.com. So just go and have a look, see if .net is available. Okay, so that's gone as well, so that was hardly uh, surprising. So what we can do now is just start firing off the mains. Um, so let's just go with um, ultra sonic humidifier shop dot com. Okay. Okay, so ultrasonic humidifier shop dot com is available. Okay, good domain shops 
buying term, you've still got your full keyword in there. You could also have ultrasonic humidifier review, you could also have um, E, ultrasonic humidifiers, um, you know, lots of combinations, but I mean, that always works for me. I've got lots of sites that end in shop, or you can have store, depending. I always like the word shop. Um, so that's it. I mean, you can go and register it with uh, GoDaddy. It's £7.51. Um, there's also lots of vouchers you can have to register, so that's it. I'm, I'm not actually going to register this domain. Uh, I'm going to actually leave it to a lucky person that's watching this video first, and uh, and then we'll go from there.